guys and welcome back to my youtube channel it's me again Masi Misetino back with another video I am going shopping today I've been doing shopping for a whole week now so probably tomorrow we will be done with everything that's needed to be done in that house my client wanted to go with a theme of very minimal um, Scandinavian kind of feel and this is my first time actually working on a Scandinavian um, kind of home and I'm kind of nervous I won't lie to you I'm kind of nervous but I've been praying to God I've been praying <laughs> that God will just make things happen because he's the one who knows my client and I want to have him involved in this so that we can deliver something that both me and the client will be happy about so right now I'm going for shopping for pillows, uh, pillow covers, plants, organization and decor. So I'll be going to Garden City, I'll also be going to Gikomba, I'll be going to Westlands and I'll be going to Ngong Road on this same day. Um, today I woke up not on the good side of the bed. Like, Last night, I slept well, everything was fine. And then this morning, today, when I have like one day to do this renovation, I wake up with a very terrible headache. I don't know how, why? It was just the devil trying to mess up with me. But I thank God, I know who I am in Christ. I know I cannot be sick. I know I am the head and not the tail and I gathered all the courage that I could and woke up and starting my day today mm -hmm. so um, probably as I've been doing with the other videos I'll take you guys with me throughout this process and I have a full team so you guys will be seeing people in my videos now because I have I have a team right now so let's go <laughs> Finally, I was able to get to House of Leather on time to pick up one, two, three things that I needed for this renovation. I was actually looking for pillowcases that will match well with the theme that I was going for, but unfortunately, I couldn't find it at House of Leather, so I needed to go to Garden City, Mr. Price, to look for the same pillowcases. But unfortunately, upon arriving there, I didn't find the pillowcases. As well so I had to make a decision and the decision was to go to Gikomba to get the pillowcases there to have them custom made so it will blend well with what we were going for But wait, let's go back to the beginning. This was how the house used to look like before we decided to do this renovation. As you can see, it had a theme of green, wood finishes, and a little bit of cream. My client was very specific on how she wanted this room to feel and to look. Very subtle, very neutral, not so many things going on. And she was very specific. She didn't want holes on the walls. And one thing you'll not see me doing in this renovation is painting the walls because she had just moved in the house recently and the paint was still fresh. But everything else you'll see us changing from the floor planning to the couch, but the wood tables and wood finishing we are leaving it
on day two we are finally here and you can see not so many pro well there is a progress that's going on be because we have already managed to fix the couch but it doesn't give the house like a new fresh vibe so today we are here with the tools and everything that we shopped for i have my um my help um carol and also my electrician will be coming later as you can see here we are shuffling the couch and we are moving everything around and one thing i noticed is when i was moving the tv cabinet i realized the other side where we were to move the tv cabinet there wasn't the aerial um, the dstv socket so this was a dilemma for a minute until an idea came to my mind to call my electrician thank god he didn't come with us very early in the morning so he was still in town i was able to call him and to let him know that we are having an issue and he needed to come with a very long aerial cable which will go all the way from the floor all the way to the ceiling and all the way to the other side which eventually worked out perfectly like to use what's already there to bring out the beauty out of it and for this big plate my client had already have them and she was planning to throw them away until I got an idea of just spray painting them with gold to bring out that beautiful finishing and for the other pieces like this pieces here I only thrifted them one was going for 500 bob and the only way to make them look fresh and new was to spray paint them white which I went ahead and did that and it looked beautiful, very unique and it made the space look so beautiful in the end, which you will see. Well, this is what I was talking about, the aerial cable, passing it through the ceiling at that corner, which I was kind of worried at first that it would look very visible, but after it was done, it was very invincible you could not even notice it mm -hmm. 